In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the HTML paragraph tag, how to use it, when to use it, where to use it, why to use it, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where I help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. And if it's your first time here, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get to the screen capture so we can learn about the HTML paragraph tag. Now this is a very basic tag, and what it helps you do is define what content on a web page is paragraph or text content. The way you do it is on the left hand side of the screen, you see our HTML code. And all you have to do is before the area you want to define as a paragraph or before the text you want to define as a paragraph, you put a P. So you have the open pointy bracket, the P and the close pointy bracket. And that opens your paragraph tag. And at the end of your paragraph, you have the open pointy bracket, a forward slash, the letter P and the closing pointy bracket. And that closes your paragraph tag. Now there's a couple things that happen by default with browsers when you do this. On the right hand side, you see how this page renders in, uh, in a web browser. And when you use paragraph tags, the browser sees them as paragraphs and it actually puts this space between the text. Now if you don't put the paragraph tags in, the browser will not put this space in. It will not recognize them as paragraphs, it just recognizes them as random text. And so you won't get those spaces. Another thing that's very valuable with paragraph tags is having the P tags, you can now apply certain styling, CSS styling, that applies just to the content inside of a P tag or a paragraph tag. And if you don't have the paragraph tags, then you can't assign any CSS to it because there are no selectors for it. And the, the last important thing about paragraph tags and using them is you want to make sure that your HTML markup is semantic. And that means that the tags define the roles of the content on the page. For example, at the very top, we have a heading. It's inside of an H1 tag. So when we're reading through this code, we know, okay, this is the heading one. That's the most important thing on the page. This is what the page is about. And then we have our next tag, which is a paragraph tag. Like, okay, that's a paragraph. That's great. And that's not just important for us reading through the code. That's important for web browsers and even screen readers where people who have uh, visual disabilities, they have a screen reader that reads the text on the page. If we have semantic markup, that tells the screen reader what the components of the page mean and what they're supposed to be. And that helps them deliver content to the visually impaired individual using the screen reader. And that's all there is to the HTML paragraph tag. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side to further increase your coding knowledge. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.